everybody, and welcome back to the World of Heart. My name is, of course, Constantine, and welcome back. Welcome back to this wonderful little game here that I've been enjoying for the past day. And let me tell you guys, I'm absolutely in love with this game. Um, you guys, as you guys know, I really enjoy playing these type of hand-drawn game. Uh, even if they are 2D like this, I've always enjoyed the look of them. And especially when they have a great lore, a great story attached to them, just like this one has. I'm definitely going to keep on playing these adventures and uh, enjoy the heck out of them. So that being said guys, sit back, relax, and let's carry on the adventure. So in the previous episode, if you guys missed it, uh, we actually managed to get ourselves all these little guys with us. Uh, we managed to hatch them and uh, get them to come with us. Now, I wonder what I'm supposed to do next because let me just get them all over here to get rid of all the stuff for me. There we go. I love that I can have them working for me. That is so cool. Look at that. I don't even have to bother at all. All I gotta do is just collect everything. Uh, poop fruit. <laughs> the smelliest natural food in the world, but somehow still edible and nutritious. Huh. I think I'm gonna try to eat it just because uh, I am gonna need a little bit of health here. Peeps, peep squash fact 2. Using the peeps that drop from these the, the grounds, uh, sprinklings can be hatched from a sprinting well. Yeah, I know. I've already done that in the um, previous episode. Let me go ahead and grab that and this one. Um, man, I really, really want to get there somehow. Let's get these guys to clean that place up a little bit. I mean, if I cannot make my way over there just yet. And yeah, we cannot suck all those coins in just yet. Uh, oh, hold up. These guys need to be... Yeah, they're bringing the resources right in here. Let me also go ahead and... No, 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 no. Actually, go ahead and grab one of them, maybe? I don't know. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Let me put these things in here and instead grab the chips because I may actually need the chips. I don't, I don't want this. I want to eat. How do I eat? Hold up. I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I love it that you can actually uh, show a little bit of love to them. How do I... Uh, I'm trying to... Eat. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. We gotta go here. Uh, so let me try to eat one of these. There we go, we are full health now, finally. And what I'm gonna do here is actually... Hatch more peeps. Three of them. Thankfully had enough of those. Oh, I think we can only hold a, a specific number of peeps on us. Right? Actually, I don't know, I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, but for now, we gotta fix this. And in order to fix this, let me just throw these guys to help up here. Clean this place up a little bit. Let me also get them here to help me uh, move this. There we go. Thank you very much, boys. Oh, wait. What is that? Isn't losing track of some of your sprinklings. Oh, so tedious? I swear, they just wander off on their own sometimes. Well, if you find yourself too short on time of retrieving them, you can always dismiss idle sprinklings at the wellspring. Ah, uh, helpful in a pinch, but be aware that they will return to the wild and leave the field for good. Hmm. So I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing with them because apparently I can't lose them. That is interesting. Uh, I don't even know how many... Oh, we have 15 out of 15, yeah. So uh, we can uh, hold on to a max of 15 at the moment. I get it. Um, can I use the wind on that? I cannot do it from here, though. Hmm. How can I get to this other side? I guess I'm going to have to climb, then, and see what I can do. Oh, these are climbing as well. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, let's get these guys to uh, clean this place up as well. Good job, boys. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, did I just kill it that fast? <laughs> that was so cool. I thought for a second there that thing is gonna attack us, but never mind. Alright, we got more eggs, of course. And can we lower this down? Or maybe can't kick it? Oh, we can. There we go. Good job, boys. Look at them go. <laughs> That is really epic. I am in love with this game. Alright, so this is going to allow us to go back and forth from the camp. Perfect. Uh, let's try to remove this one as well. Oh, we need 20 of them. But we only have 15. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing I'm going to need to maybe increase my backpack capacity so I can hold on to more of them. I don't know. Something like that. 
Or... Maybe, uh, I can simply go ahead and, uh, hatch more. I don't know. Okay, so we cannot grab that. There's another chest over here that- over there that we gotta take care of. Let me see if I can also get some, uh, coins out of this one, or I should say nuts and bolts. Alright, that's done. More mushrooms. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Attack! <laughs> no, that thing was eating my hatchlings. Oh no, 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 no. Very serious, dude. Hmm. It doesn't look like I can do anything to those uh, thingies, though. Uh, let me just get these guys to build up a bridge for me. For now. Let me also get them on the other side. To keep on building the bridge. Come here, guys. Try to suck these guys in, so that they can uh, keep on following me. Let's see if I can do something to this. Ah, I can suck in the bees! Alright, well that worked. I'm not gonna say no to that. Can we still kick this? No. Huh. Okay, never no mind. Uh, I don't think we had to do anything bad to them, just uh, make them go inside their houses. So that we can access their houses there. Uh, grab that thing. So let me get rid of that, and let me get rid of this. There we go. Get rid of this, guys. And collect everything. Let's get two of these guys to go over here. Hold up. Let me collect that. And get three of you there. There we go. That worked. That worked perfectly, actually. Alright, somebody wants to talk to me. Uh, Wake, how goes your journey through uh, our woods? You found Scrap Heap without issues, it seems. Well, I'll be quick. I just wanted to share a bit of info I remembered. Did you know any Wayward Sprintlings will always be marked on a map? Very useful, probably. So if you're ever wondering where missing Sprintlings might be, you only have to check the map. Huh. So if I check the map... Ah, look at that. There's actually one over here. Where is that? I don't even know what that is. Let's just go and check. There we go. We got the wheel in. And this is the guy that was missing. Perfect. Alright, what we'll add it. Let me see if I can actually hatch more. I know that this one is saying 15 out of 15. I just want to see if I can hatch more. Uh, hatch a pip. Uh, there are too many sprinklings in the field. Newly hatched sprinklings have been sent to the spirit well. Ah. So I can definitely hatch more, but they're just gonna be sent to the uh, well, unfortunately. Let me hatch these two as well. And that's gonna be it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a bigger backpack if I wanna keep on crossing. I'm pretty sure about it. So we cannot grab anything out of that. Let me see if I can chat with this guy. Excellent work, Wake. The gate is repaired. Now, just lower it, and we'll be on our way. Uh, can we craft something? Hmm. Welcome to the workbench. Here, you can combine collected resources into useful new items. As you stage resources, incompatible com combinations will be automatically filtered out. Uh, if you can't find any craftable combos, you might need to get more resources. Keep collecting and experimenting to become a crafting master. Huh. After a new item has been crafted, it will be added to your recipes list forever. From that tab on the menu, uh, you, you can easily quickly re uh, craft it again, as long as you have the necessary resources. So I can use this, this, and... Actually, I cannot do anything, yeah. I'm guessing we need three items to add to the bar here in order to craft stuff. Interesting. Uh, let me put this crap inside in the bottle, and... I. I think I'm gonna probably eat this one, uh, just because we did get damaged. There we go. And while we're at it, let me also go ahead and grab these two on me. And let's keep on going. Alright, so now we gotta make our way to the top here. And get the wheel working so that we can leave this place. Alright, look at that. We got it. Awesome. Capital. You truly mastered the employment. Of sprint links and the features of your device. We can now proceed to the grove. 
the day has begun to wester, but we should have enough time before nightfall, should we not daily dally? <laughs> Speak to me when you're ready, and we'll be off. Alright buddy, I think we are actually done, because uh, I don't think we can do... Oh, never mind, we can go here, so let me just get all these guys. Let's go on that side. Why not? Let me get more of them. There we go, this way they can work faster. <laughs> oh my god. They went through that wall like crazy, dudes. Alright, let's just see what we got here. Uh, first of all, I want to get all these little guys to keep on chopping stuff down. Just like that. And we can also get them to work on something with the, all this wood. I don't know what they're going to be working on, but uh, let's just see. Ah, they're bringing another, they're bringing up another bridge. Awesome. Alright, let me grab the scrap. Uh, they still need a few more wood pieces though. Hold up. Hmm. Can I walk through here? I don't think I can, but I can definitely get all my guys to go and grab me the wood. Right? No, I cannot. Huh. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't know what that is, though. I guess I gotta maybe build, like, a bridge over there. But I have no idea how to get them up there. Ah, there we go. That works. So let me just send them all, and probably they're gonna be on their way. Oh, God, no. They're glitching out. So that is not gonna work. Hmm. What about if I get them to come over here? All ten of them. Ah, there we go. Okay. That makes sense. And now we got a platform to cross. Ah, that is cool. And now we can get all these guys here to bring all the woods and finish up the bridge. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, we cannot go on this side, so let me keep on going here. I'm also going to make my way to the top, of course, but for now, let me just eat one of the... Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's see what this bridge is going to be all about. Really curious. Huh. So this one is definitely taking me to a new location. I mean, I absolutely do not mind exploring, but, uh, Wisp Wagon. This place kind of feels a little bit dangerous, though. So I gotta pay attention. Alright, hold up, let's see. Half Moon Pond, just ahead. Hmm. Half Moon Pond. Are these guys going inside that tree? Oh! Dang it! Gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, what about this one? Danger. Route closed due to blaze drop infestation. Hmm. So I cannot go? Oh, never mind, we can go. But I gotta make sure I don't kill my little guys, eh? Come on, kill it! Dang it! Come on, little ones. Let's send them all, let's send them all to fight. No! Great coat, help! I killed them! I'm, I'm a monster! Be calm, child. They have not died. At least, not in the way you are thinking. Not in the way you or I will perish. Their spirit has simply returned to the forest. But I, I saw them! Explode! This is the way of the things that deep fall in the deep woods. Perhaps you have seen spiritlings, peps, in your explorations. They appear as seeds and grow from a colorful grounds found through our forest. If you gather these pips and make a... Uh, Make for the rarer spirit well. You should be able to hatch them back into the sprinkling's form. Spirit well. That's the glowy blue tree trunk. I uh, think it back at the camp, right? Mm -hmm. Glowy blue thinking indeed. <laughs> you do have a way with words, young master. Off you go now and be well. You have done no harm to our forest friends. Just remember, find peeps, return to the spirit well, and then hatch sprinklings. No, we gotta kill this. We gotta release them. There we go, there we go. No, 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 Come on, guys, come on. Come on! There we go. He's almost dead. The problem is, I am almost dead as well. So let me grab this. This. Uh, 
uh, Beastie Binds. The leftover innards of an inflicted deep wood creature are extremely smelly and unsafe for di digestion. They will do splendidly as an alchemical base. Interesting. So we got some new uh, resources here. The problem is we kind of lost a lot of uh, these little fellas. There's even one more that we got to deal with. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to deal with though. So let me just wait for him to come over for a second. Come on, buddy. All right, let's keep on damaging him. No, 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 no. No. Come on, guys, help up. There we go. We got it. Uh, I wonder if I can actually collect the resources here. Oh, we can. I think we're getting like crystals out of this. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool that we can get them to uh, do the work for us. Bloomstone, a rare mineral imbued with extremely or extraordinary attributes, naturally luminous. This ore is also rumored to have other magical properties when combined with the right ingredients. And the bag is full. Um, I cannot consume anything, unfortunately, so I can grab that, but I can definitely tell my peep to carry that for me. Yeah, there we go. What does this guy want? It looks like your bag is full. Did you know your sprintlings can also carry resources? Just toss them near the item. They're happy to assist. Otherwise, you need to find this stash box at the rarest camp and empty your pockets there. All right, hold up. Uh, first of all, I want to see if I can actually collect this stuff here. Yeah, we cannot because of the fiery thingy around it, right? Let me just try again, though. Oh, at least uh, the other one is gonna work, so let me just try to, I guess, get the other one going for now. And these spikes, I'm definitely not gonna be able to cross, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to cross those spikes. I have a feeling we gotta get rid of this red thingy over here if I wanna keep on collecting all the diamonds from it. But uh, probably at the moment we do not have the, um, the proper tools. Somebody grab that. Oh, dang it, are you serious right now? All right, we got, it. we got it now. Let me send one of them to carry it. And now we can go, perfect. No, sprint links. Are you serious? We lost another one. Dang it. All right, unfortunately we are down to um, quite a few of them. We have 9 at the moment, and we used to have 15. That's a little bit scary. But that is okay. Uh, we cannot crack that, right? Yeah, we cannot. In that case, let me make my way back home. Uh, try to put all the stuff inside. Oh, let me also grab some more splint things. Why not? Ah, oh, we can remove the stump as well. I had no idea. Yeah, I know, I know, cannot carry that. We are full. I'm gonna have to leave some stuff behind and then get make my way back there again. So those guys are gonna put that in. Let me just send those guys over there to get me more. And I'm also gonna make my way over here to collect these three. Oh, never mind. Oh, everything is completely full. I just gotta leave some stuff behind first. So first of all, let me go inside here then. Leave these behind. Actually, put everything inside. I don't need to carry anything anymore. Yeah, I know. I know that squash. All I want to do is just drag it closer to me. There we go. Let me grab these ones over here. I'm definitely gonna need to uh, hatch more of them for sure. Can I grab those things at the top? I cannot. I oh, mean, I really want to make a bridge over here so I can cross. Um, but for now, I think I'm gonna need to... Uh, we draw sprint links. So we have nine of them already, right? How many do I want to redraw? I want to redraw all of them. Oh no, I put all in. <laughs> I want to redraw them. So I gotta go the other way around. We got 15. <laughs> Which means I can now go ahead and hatch one. There we go. This one, this way we have 15 out of 15 uh, following us. Uh, let me also get him to knock that tree stump. There we go. Thank you very much. Let's see if we missed anything back here. Yep, we, ha we have another tree stump. And I 
guess that is about it for now. Alright, I think uh, we are completely done and we should just make our way out of here for now. Alright, buddy. Say, before we continue onwards, I was told that Brussels found you at the edge of the woods. Yeah, I got lost. Well, whenever you were headed, by the look of you, I'd say you seem prepared for a long stay. What's your point? I'm simply curious what would make you uh, run away from home like you have. How did you know? I've been around for a long, long time, with the years. Came on a uh, intuition of some measure. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough, but there are things about this place not yet revealed to you. If you were suddenly change your mind, for instance, you may find yourself disappointed. Can we just move on? I thought we weren't supposed to dilly dally. Very well. Are you ready to continue? Uh, no. Speak to me when you're ready to um, be off. Now, the reason I say no is because I actually remembered uh, that I have something up here that I forgot to check. And in order to check that, I gotta make my way to the top. Are these guys coming? Yes, they are. <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to check all the way up here, actually. Look at that. There's even more stuff, of course, that we gotta deal with. Including that big wall that we gotta deal with as well. I love it how they're taking care of it, though. That is so cool. And let me also sell the, send these guys to take care of uh, everything they can over there. And I'm guessing that's about it because uh, they're not going to be able to get me more resources uh, due to that red thingy. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that is everything we had to do. Alright, now we can dilly-dally. Or I should say, we are done dilly-dallying. Now we just got to get away. Make our way to the grove. Pull up. Let me also send these guys to get me that thing. Perfect. We're already up to uh, 1400. That is a lot of uh, points that we got here. Look at that. Right, I'm ready. Yes. Right, let's be off. Hmm. What's wrong? It appears that the end of the day has caused me to forget my payload. I must return for it. Do not despair though. The grove is just up ahead. Follow the path beyond this gate. You cannot miss it. Now, make haste. Night will fall soon. Hmm. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to walk on my own. I was really hoping he was gonna be um, coming with me, but anyway. Um. What is happening? Wake! I made a terrible error. Darkness has fallen. Curses. Listen to me very carefully. Scrappy? Run. Oh! No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? What the heck? No! What's happening? So apparently there are going to be some monsters that we got to run away from. Wait! Here! Hurry! Oh my god, I think he killed one of my little guys. Wait, are you alright? Greycoat, I... He could have been killed, and the little ones. Ah, yes. I... Yes. Oh, man. Seriously. Greycoat, what were those things? The dark is bad. Let's be off. Danger is about, but I shall guide you the rest of the way. We have just a short northbound trek ahead of us until we reach the grove. Come along. Come along. Man, that was so close. Oh, and wake. Welcome to the deep woods. <laughs> Alright. That was not that bad. It was a little bit scary because I had no idea what to expect when those um, dark things appear, but... Never mind. Welcome, Wake. Whoa, is this where you live? Indeed. The Grove is the headquarters of this chapter of the Grinshield Order. Now I believe you've earned a more thorough explanation. The creatures that attacked are a dark entity called the Never. The Never? Uh, yes. If it had another name, we no longer know it, probably. Uh, it is always here, always around us, but cannot materialize in the light. The dark is bad. These deep woods are ancient, secluded. We are in world set aside from yours. The deep woods exist as a sanctuary, as a landing for things forgotten, and as a prison. The sprinklings you've so brilliantly taken care of are precious to us. 
They are magical in nature, and this place keeps them from your world and the perils there. But long ago, the ancients that built this place also intended it as a jail for the never. To keep it from your world, where a wretched, it will run rampant probably. And that's where we come in. We, Green Shields, are tasked with protecting the spirit links and keeping the never confined to these deep woods at all costs. So, how did I get here then? Something about you, she chose you, she not knows for making mistakes. Now we can discuss what to do next in the morning. Feel free to introduce yourself to the other green shields here. There's more of you? Of course. Though, some are currently off in the distant corners of the woods, probably. Uh, when your eyes grow heavy, there's a place to rest in the north of the end of the grove. It's yours as long as you, can, as you need it. We will speak again in the morning. Hmm. So I'm guessing this is probably going to be our um, main camp, right? Yeah, look at that. We reached the grove. This is really cool, though. I love it. Oh my god, and the grove is actually represented by a, a large tree. This is really cool. And of course, we're going to have a section here where we can go ahead and save the game for now. There we go. Can we interact with the radio? Huh. I don't hear it giving us any music, but anyway. Uh, let me see if I can get myself another sprint link. Actually, we do not have any more. So what I'm going to do is hatch. Uh, let me go ahead and hatch more. Four of them, I guess. Uh, yeah, I know they're going to go inside the uh, inventory, but that's okay. And I see if I look in the top left corner there, uh, there's going to be different type of peeps that we're going to get and eventually be able to uh, get different type of these little guys, right? Uh, Sprintling heart. Build. Ah, look at this. We can actually create some sort of a house here or whatever this is. Uh, gain access to Sprintling improvements. While the Green Shields have always held a kind of a uncomfortable relationship with the Sprintlings, of late the forest creatures have been hanging around the grove less and less. The heart was once a bustling place of joy and worth, but now it's mostly empty. However, with a suitable structure and some cleaning, it'll be an inviting as ever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we gotta build this. Find and bring back a giant shell to serve as the heart's main building. Aha, so we have all the rest of the resources, we just need to find the soul shell. And once we got that one, we're probably going to be able to build this, whatever this is. Can I get rid of that stump? I cannot. Uh, can I put some stuff in here? Yes. Let me get myself some more coins. Or I should say, bolts and pieces. I think on that side, grab that bolt. I do want to meet the people around here though. Let's see what this guy's gonna say. Oh, look at this. We can even build whatever this is gonna be. Uh, the Grove Trove. Awesome. So we're definitely gonna have a lot of work to do here and uh, build this place up again. Because at the moment, it seems like it needs a little bit of work. Wait, I can only apologize. Man, that was scary, but I don't think it was your fault. Thank you, tiny, unwrinkled one, but it was. Oh, um, we're not. Huh. Uh, you should rest. More to accomplish in the morning. More scrap to loot. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let me just keep on looking around and see if I can find stuff. Oh, we can chat with this guy. Hey. <laughs> hey, he's not going to chat with us. He's just going to laugh. Uh, we're going to need to build the upgrade the mill. Interesting. And this character right here, this is definitely a brand new one. Let's have a chat with her. Hello, I'm Wake. Cats. Cats Lady Weirdo. <laughs> huh? Sorry, it's Poke You. Um, it's uh, Sniff. Whoa, that's some smell you got going on over here. <laughs> yep, litter box. And my cats, they're gone. Oh no, where did they go? I sent them on mission to get stuff in the woods. Uh, they get the stuff and then they come back with the stuff. But sometimes they don't come back and I, um, I, I, I know why. Oh no, I'm sorry. Is it because of the smell? It's because they're having a tea party. They're having a tea party with the queen. <laughs> oh, uh, well... Good luck with that, I hope. Uh, I hope they'll come back. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to have to go and look for them. That's probably going to be one of my missions uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, once they're not going to show up. But now let me try to grab some more of these uh, bolts and pieces. Make my way through here. And also grab this. Is this like a witch doctor? What the heck? Look at this guy. And also there's a 
fireplace over here that we gotta get rid of, maybe. Uh, crow's nest shop. Ah, so we need an iron cauldron to put it here in order to build this guy's house, I guess. Interesting. Alright, let me chat with him. Oh, hello, I'm Wake. Why, hello there, Wake. You must be what all this commotion is for. I guess so. Uh, you, uh, you have a bird in your tofat. hat. Uh, did you know? <laughs> huh? Why, of course. Her name is Worms, an account of that being uh, her favorite food. She had another name once. I no longer recall it. And my name is uh, Crow's Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hmm, that's funny. But I think she's a uh, magpie. Oh yes, she's very much is. Well spotted. Uh, but for now, but for some reason, Magpie's nest just didn't have the same contents. I'm the resident alchemist here. Let me know if you need anything regarding uh, tinctures, tonics, crafting or cooking. I've closed early tonight, uh, what with all the hubbub, but stop by tomorrow if you'd like to browse my wares. Um, okay, will do. Uh, say, you happen to have any springs or camphor on you, would you? Um, no. Mm, damn. Worms seem to have a nasty itch. <laughs> I guess you just have to stop picking at it. Uh, right, Worms? Okay. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to bring this guy some stuff um, as well very soon. I'm just gonna grab some more bolts and pieces from over here. And also from that one. Alright, and I guess that is about it. All I gotta do next is just make my way... Maybe inside here, and get some rest. Hold up, we gotta use the device properly, like that. Let me use the devices on this one as well. Wait, can I clean it? Hmm, so I cannot clean that place up. Oh, so this is where I'm gonna go to sleep. Interesting. Examine. Hmm. Yeah, this is really weird though. But I like the look of it. Alright, well, in that case, let me just go ahead and uh, get some sleep and see what we're gonna have to do tomorrow. Save and sleep. Welcome to the deep woods. Alright, so apparently every time we're going to sleep, uh, all our little fellows are going inside the uh, well. And of course, we're gonna have another nightmare over here. Taking us back home to Dad. It's that again. What's he doing here? And those are old videos, is that... We were so happy then, all of us together. I have a feeling this is a sad story about um, maybe them losing the mother. I don't want to watch these. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Yeah, I think it's uh, just kind of looking at the old videos of um, them, I guess, when she was still around. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't have any story about it. We definitely need to find a little bit more lore, though. Ah, wake! Restless dreams, eh? Yeah, well, uh, part of the curse on these woods, I'm afraid. <laughs> I often dream of a large vessel, tossed about in a storm. As Flotsam, I listen to it growl while it sinks, disappearing beneath the waves. It almost sounds as though it's in pain. Anywho, uh, we've much to do, probably. Uh, the day is young and the night is newly vanished. Let us use the light while we can. I have another taken to bestow upon you. One most precious. But Eliza jumped away, resting in a solemn ticket. That place is a grave. A grave? I'd like to meet me there, where I hope to be able to answer any further questions you may have. And ask you a tremendous undertaking. Head out to the grove, then look out to the entrance just to the east. When you're close, you'll begin to come across scatterings of violet fox glove and little sinkmen adoring the trees. Off you go now. Do not tear do not delay. You'll find me waiting for you there, at the grove. Or at the grave, actually. Huh. Alright, so we are currently at the grove, but uh, we definitely have to make our way to the grave. And I have no idea what's gonna be um, waiting for me there, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit uh, daunting. What can I help you? Uh, Grove Trove? Let's go with Grove Trove. Master Wake, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you. I once had a museum of sorts, meant to show off some of the deep, wo deep woods lovely treasures and trinkets, and land of flotsam and jetsam it may be, but of what beautiful things do collect here. Unfortunately, my plans require some more materials before I can reopen. Would you care to assist? Yeah, sure. Excellent. First, I need to procure a suitable structure to house our future curios. Uh, I will start by researching central deep woods just outside the group here. Hmm. 
I mean, I know what this guy needs for me to build his um, shop there. Uh, what about her? Hey, help! My cats are gone and they're probably crying about it. Can you please go and get them for me? Just as I thought, guys, I was saying uh, just because just before we went to sleep that this one is gonna definitely need me to go and uh, fetch her cats back. Yeah, sure. Yes, thanks. Go get them. They're probably everywhere but scared and hiding. If you see one, send them back home. Precious purr babies. <laughs> Alright, so we got another quest uh, that we gotta deal with. And I'm guessing I'm gonna also have to chat with this fellow here. Why, hello there. Come browse my humble selection. Let's go with Liz Chance. I guess she'll just have to stop pecking at it. Right? Uh, shop. If you happen to see a big cauldron laying around in the deep woods, could you send it to the groove? I can use the extra space to produce more resources. Uh-huh. Uh, ooh, we can actually use money to purchase hearts. Look at that. They're quite expensive, so let me just buy three of them, I guess, for now. And, um, I guess that's about it on this side. As for over here, let me actually go and grab this one for now. Yeah, and I guess that's about it. Of course, we can keep on going and exploring. Uh, I think I'm gonna want to go back a little bit, uh, since it's daytime, and try to explore this area. Uh, since we haven't managed to explore this area, as we have been chased by the, um, by the demons. Or I should say the never, and uh, I definitely want to explore this before I do anything else. But you know what, guys? For now, I think uh, this is gonna be the end of this episode. And uh, when we come back in the next one, we are gonna explore the world a little bit more. Uh, try to make our way to the graves and uh, see what that is all gonna be all about. I have a feeling uh, we're gonna be running into some very very creepy uh, moments in this game. But uh, I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys are as well as much as I am. And if you are and want to see more like this, make sure you hit on the like button down below, subscribe if you guys have just uh, arrived to this channel and uh, are new here and if you guys want to become a member just like these awesome fellas right up here and support the channel and help this channel grow go check out the join button at the bottom or the link in the description as that will help me quite a lot to have me keep on going with this and i will see you all in the next video coming up very soon bye everybody